dinner. Well guys, I don't doubt a lot of people have already heard about this, but the Brembo recall for the PR16 master cylinder, which are on, uh, and now the recall goes from, uh, I think, anywhere from like 2015 and up, but I think it's affecting most 2016 and 2017 models. And it's on, they're on stock Ducatis, stock Aprilias like mine, and I think KTM as well. Uh, I'm not sure which other ones use that master cylinder as stock. But they're lucky. They're lucky it's Brembo having the recall or I'd be fucking kicking and screaming like a motherfucker pissed off because Brembo, we all know, is the number one manufacturer of brakes. So it's funny how when a manufacturer like that does something, they kind of get a free, a free ticket. And they were actually pretty quick. There was no real serious accidents. Two of three of the incidences that happened were on a racetrack under, you know, putting the brakes under extreme pressure. But given the type of bikes they go on, they have to be able to survive a track day. No problem. And high abuse. Damn near maxing out the abuse that the master cylinder can handle. That's what they're made to do. Um, it's not a big deal yet. I actually haven't, I ran my VIN. Now there are lots of 2016 RFs as well that got recalled and stuff. I haven't got my letter in the mail for the recall. I ran my VIN through the, um, like the uh, website that uh, I guess you can just put your VIN through and Aprilia will tell you if your bike's in the recall campaign or not. I will put that link in the description in case you have an Aprilia, Ducati, or KTM or anything that you just want to check to see. Um, obviously this website is specifically for Aprilia. If you want to, you can go find the Ducati one. So there has been no deaths, none no accidents or anything like that in North America. All three incident instances happened in Europe. Um, like I said, no deaths, nothing like that. They're not completely failing. But what it is is the piston inside the master cylinder, they use the plastic piston. And a lot of people are gonna say, oh, they cheap and stuff like that. But the thing is, is apparently sometimes with the aluminum ones over time, they can kind of pit and I guess get a little bit pitted and stuff like that or whatever from the chemicals over time. So they don't go as smoothly and the type of plastic they use is a special, um, I can't remember exactly what it's called. I will throw the name up right here so you guys can read it since I can't remember off the top of my head the type of plastic it is. But it's basically resistant to chemicals and stuff like that. And it's not so much the um, a manufacturing or a a product default that it is is a manufacturing error because they think what happened is possibly some air got into the, the the molds and stuff like that which even like a cunt hair of uh, a void inside these plastic pistons over time with all the pressure and stuff um, they crack so you're not getting full it's, the piston isn't it isn't able to push full pressure and get as much braking as they're supposed to have. And when you're on a track or something like that with the speeds, that could be you flying right off the track, especially if you're doing like 180 and you're coming out of corner or whatever. Or on the street in oncoming traffic, but chances are with that light of use, nothing's gonna happen. Um, your brakes are gonna be fine. I haven't got my recall yet. I'm expecting a letter regardless of what my VIN says with everything. It is a shame. Uh, because of the Aprilia's run off of a radial PR16 mat front master cylinder and like one like my CBR is an axial lever so instead like with the Brembo radial mounted let's say this is the the master cylinder when you push the lever it pushes down on a CBR when you push the lever the master cylinder is more horizontal so you push pull the lever and it pushes this way. Does that make sense? Anyways, not, not a very good explanation, but it's not here to ex explain nothing. I'm just here to throw out there to kind of get out that there is a Brembo recall for the PR16s. And if you do own a Ducati, a Prilia, a KTM, 
or any bike that has this master cylinder on. As far as I know, no Japanese bikes are affected by this. And you can say whatever you, some people can say whatever on that fucking, it's, it's Brembo that has the recall, not, not the motorcycle manufacturer. So I'm gonna clear that up. A lot of people don't understand how recalls work and there's lock codes and stuff. Just because yours has a PR16 doesn't mean it's gonna get recalled. It was a certain amount in a certain batch period. So they may recall every single one of them, but chances are they're only gonna recall what's in that lock code. I don't know if mine, you know, if I got lucky and maybe mine, I just happened to get one made out of a different batch or something. I'm not sure, I have no idea. But I'm expecting a letter at some point. I noticed tons of people have already got letters. <coughs> I'm part of a uh, like a Aprilia two or uh, RSV4 210 little group on Facebook, and a lot of them have it, and a lot of them with my years and stuff. But there was one guy from Quebec who has like I think number 98 or something like that of 200. I have 84, and he hasn't got the recall yet. So we're kind of close to numbers. So maybe we might get lucky. Uh, maybe not. We'll we'll see what happens. But it's, it it sucks. I don't want to have to take it in. It's obviously free and it's not a big deal. All they're going to do is replace that little plastic piston inside the master cylinder with an aluminum one. Which they probably should have done in the beginning, but you know, the plastic one saves money and it was probably seemed like a better idea. They're not just like cheap Chinese plastic. Like they're, These things are well engineered and well thought out long before they're ever done these. They know these things are going to be under abuse. But like I said, from my understanding, what they think is wrong is some air got into the mold, and when you got little voids in the plastic, you know, those are weak points. Right? Under pressure, those weak points can crack and then split the whole cylinder, and then you don't have the, the braking pressure and stopping power that you should have, which could cause an accident, and there were only three instances, but three is three too many, so they're doing the recall. Two of three were on a racetrack, and we know how people ride on a racetrack. And they're not saying, oh, that's, you know, th these bikes aren't made for it and blah, 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 because they are. That's why they're doing the recall. These are brakes. And another thing I don't understand is I was looking up brakes because a lot of people up upgrade from the PR16 to the, I think it's the RCS17 and the RCS19. Or maybe not upgrade to the 19, but definitely the RCS17. But the RCS17 Brembo Master Cylinder is cheaper than the PR16 price-wise by about a hundred bucks. I don't understand that. Um, none of the PR16s that were sold as an aftermarket upgrade are being recalled. I think they were made in a completely different batch. So those aren't affected. But I just want to give you guys a heads up. I will be posting the link to the Aprilia recall page where you can run your VIN and check it out and then you can see if your bike is being recalled if not you can always call your dealer you can you know yeah just call your dealer if you really don't want to run your VIN or if you don't trust it or whatever and then you know maybe they can help you and point you in the right direction I'm banking on getting a letter regardless I think maybe my VIN just hasn't dropped in and came or something I don't know but we will see I'm definitely looking to ride, so if I did get my recall, it's got to be done ASAP because I, I, I don't want to do the recall, mainly because I just want to do an oil change, and if I take it in for the recall, I'm probably going to end up being like, fuck it, do the oil change too and paying, and I haven't paid for an oil change since I was like in my early 20s. So we'll see, we'll see. I hope not, but I... I, I'm dying to get riding. It is cold right now. Real cold. You can probably tell I'm a little bundled up. It's not too cold for a toque. Some people may think so. I think it's like minus two or something like that. But that's it. I just wanted to bring the light to recall and I am going to post the link down. And I hope that kind of cleared up that it's not necessarily a part that's being cheaped out on. These are well engineered parts, especially when it's coming from a company like Brembo and Longevity. It was just, I, I, I truly believe it was just a manufacturing error, like they think it is, and some air got in the molds. Um, they should have used aluminum, but aluminum is, you know, more expensive, and I think the idea of it was, like I said, there were, over time, you know, there was a, like a little bit of buildup, and then it doesn't run as smooth through the master cylinder, so you're more likely to have to get a rebuild sooner. That's neither here nor there. 
I really don't care. I'm happy they do recalls, especially before they get a big problem. Sometimes car manufacturers don't do recalls until there's thousands and thousands affected. There were only three affected, and they did the recall immediately. Ducati was, I believe, the first person, then Aprilia, and then I believe it's going to be KTM and such. But as far as my understanding is, is none of the Japanese bikes are um, having the recall. But a lot of the Japanese bikes either don't come stock with Brembo's unless you get the higher end models. So that's usually how that goes as well. A lot of people upgrade to the Brembo, which was what I was going to do with my CBR600RR. And I still may do because I want to upgrade the master cylinder to a Brembo, get a little bit more feel. Because um, it's not so much that a radial master cylinder is better braking than an axial master cylinder, you got better feel, which means you can have better braking in general because you have a better feel for it. Because it's pushing directly down on the master cylinder rather than vertical, the other way, or horizontal, sorry. But yeah, that really sucks. Every chance I get, I just want to show you guys this beauty. I love this bike. It really is a damn shame though about the, the master cylinder. Because there it is, right there. You can see it. And you can see how it pushes down vertical this way. Whereas on the CBR, master cylinder goes horizontal that way. So when you pull the lever, it pushes the piston horizontal that way. And the CBR the piston goes up and down this way like this, which gives you a better feel for it. It is a shame that they are having a recall, but it is what it is, so. But it is what it is, so there's nothing we can do about it. But get your bikes checked. You definitely don't want to be ripping around like a dick monkey on these things until you get it checked out. At least you know that you're not going to have a recall on it. I'm pretty confident that I don't, but at the same time, my gut says I'm going to be seeing a letter in the mail. I know I've ran my VIN and stuff, and it says it's okay, but that's it, guys. Hopefully, yeah, enjoyed the video. A little bit of information about the Brembo recall is nothing I mean it is a serious part but it's not like this this thing is completely failing and people's brakes are locking up and people have died and stuff like that god forbid they're doing the recall before any of this happens they are a reputable company and they have a huge reputation to uphold so they're not playing games three three too many two of them were on the track like I said so anyways ride safe guys check all your stuff before you go out on your ride check your brakes check your tires your tire pressure your chain Check it all. Peace.